I'm Jeff Altman, the big game hunter, the head coach for job search, coachinghq.com, and nobscoachingadvice.com. And I just wanted to speak to you today about what I see as the biggest salary negotiation mistake job hunters make. Now, I want to preface this by saying recruiters, agency recruiters, corporate recruiters all understand the principle taught from the movie Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Fabulous movie and play. If you've never seen it, watch it sometime. It helped launch Alec Baldwin uh, as a as a uh, an actor. And I'll just say there's a scene where you know, uh, Baldwin talks about the ABC of sales, and ABC stands for always be closing. Now. Employers and recruiters understand that you don't close at the end of the sale. You close from the, from the very beginning. And I'm not talking about heavy-handed closing, but you know, it can be a very gentle close. So it really starts off with, what are you looking for in the way of salary? How much are you making? And how they respond to that, knowing what the salary range is for the position. So for you as the job hunter, the mistakes you make are really in a series that leads up to the big one. The first one is you don't have an idea of your value in the marketplace. So thus what you decide to do is walk in and believe that you, know, you are earning X number of dollars and you accept the notion that you are only entitled to Y number of dollars on top of that. And that's because you don't research the market for what you do. And as a result, you walk in like a babe in the woods and accept the fact that, well, you don't even notice the fact that they're trying to elicit information from you about what you're looking for. And thus, because you don't have knowledge and you're acting in an ignorant manner, you're you offer up a salary range because you've always been coached to give a range, right? And that's because you don't really know the market. You're taking other people who have an ulterior motive in this scenario and accepting what they tell you is what your value is. You haven't done your own, own homework or done your own research. You've listened to the recruiter, you've listened to the corporation, and they've identified the value for you because that's the price that they're willing to pay. That's from the corporate side. Or from the agency side, that's the price that they know their client is willing to pay. So you kind of are getting boxed in at the beginning. So most of you arrive and give a salary range. I'm just going to pick the two numbers arbitrarily. 150 to 160 or 100 to 120. And you know, if you were looking at a job ad and you saw a salary range there, I'll pick 100 to 120 is the one that I'm going to use going forward. $100,000 to $120,000. You zero in on the 120, right? And rightly so. You've seen the range. You want to get the most that you can. But they do the same thing too. The result winds up being when you offer a range of 100 to 120, the employer hears the bottom number, knowing that that would be okay, and they're always going to be driving you to that point. So the mistake really comes down to don't talk about a range. Know your value. Know what the market pays for what you do. And as a result, ask for that number. Be prepared that you know it's possible that they might come in a little bit less, and that's okay. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, what you want to be doing is knowing your real value, knowing what it is you should be getting, and asking for it right then and there. At the beginning of the process, not waiting until the very end when they've already established what they're going to pay, and it may not satisfy you. Again, I'm Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you found this helpful. And visit my website, JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. Have a spectacular day. Take care.